You got okay. Wait, wait, wait. No, too too loud, too loud. Okay, you guys, we are here. Season two, success with Jess. I'm super pumped. Randa, are you super pumped? We're back, baby. We are back, <laughs> like back on a Sunday afternoon. We're doing success with Jess season two. Like here we go. Here we go. We got a new song. We got a new logo. We got a new set. I mean, we expanded a little bit. I feel kind of like Jesse Fallon, you know, like I got like oh. my desk and my little couch and hey. all that whole situation, you know. So I'm ready. But if you like uh, that intro song, that was done by Cameron. Dab dab. Dab dab. <laughs> <laughs> so good. So good. He did the intro too, the video package. Um, but anyways, you guys, I'm so excited to be back for season two. So many things have happened to my family since we took a break after season one. I mean, I think you all might know by now what Rice Krispie was, <laughs> but <laughs> Rice Krispie was Siwa's Dance Pop Revolution. And the reason why we called it Rice Krispie is because of the pop, you know, like snap, crackle, pop. So that's why we called it Rice Krispie. And we just finished filming that. It's going to air on Peacock in November. Kind of a big deal. Kind of a really <laughs> big deal. Like we had been working on that for so long and we finished filming it and we all had to sleep for about a week because <laughs> we were so exhausted. And now we're back. So we're doing success with Jess. We did Celebrity Family Feud while we were gone. And how? And <laughs> <laughs> we may have done pretty well on there. We raised some money for St. Jude. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Miranda, you got to be on Celebrity Family Feud with us? I sure did. Dream was that like true, your baby. dream come true? That out, was it? Like, out of this world. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. We're going to do so a good. whole podcast on Siwa's Dance Pop Revolution, Celebrity Family Feud, all the great things that have been happening with my family, and the J team. We're going to do a whole podcast on the J team and I'm going to get all the secrets from Jojo. Even though I was there with her, uh -huh. I feel like she has a lot of secrets about that movie and that's coming out September 3rd on Paramount Plus. So we, we got like big things happening in the Hello. sea house. You mean you didn't just take a break and hang out for no, many months? I, I, <laughs> no, I've been working so hard, yes. like crazy. And actually while we were filming season one of this podcast, we were actually working on Siwa's Dance Pop Revolution the whole time. Like, people don't understand. Like, we had been working on it for over a year. Yep. And then to just see it. Oh, I can't wait for you guys to see it. It's so good. Like, you're not even ready. It's <laughs> so good. I can't. I can't. I'm so excited. All right. So, what, what do we got? Now, season two. Like, I, I got my notes here because I have not done this in a while. Okay. But... I mean, I think we should just start out with the food talk. Because <laughs> Always. We're back. We're back. We're back. Food talk. My favorite thing. I have to tell you, we order breakfast every morning. <laughs> we either order bagels, Burger King, McDonald's, Dunkin', like something like that. Today, we ordered Wendy's breakfast. Oh. Have you ever? That's a thing. No. It's a thing. Okay. I didn't know it was a thing either. Okay. I was driving by. It's totally a thing. Incredible. Really? The best of everyone. What is it? It was like a croissant. But it was like a croissant bun and it had like a good egg on it, like a real egg. Like they made a fried egg. It wasn't like a processed, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then it was like good bacon and good cheese. It was so good. And the potatoes were like wedges that you would maybe get like in the UK or someplace like that. Hey. It, it was definitely, Tom was like, this is so good. Well, good morning, Wendy's. Good morning, Wendy's. I know, right? So good. Okay, also... I'm obsessed with this new TV show. Well, it's not new, actually. It's in season two. But 90 Day Fiance, I can't get enough, you know? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm still watching it, like, <laughs> rigorously on every app I can find. But Darcy and Stacy have a spinoff. Oh. In season one, I wasn't down for it. I think I was too busy, and I was trying to do, like, too many things, and so I couldn't get into it. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go back, and I'm going to give it another try. <gasps> I'm obsessed. <laughs> How... <laughs> What's their status update? Are they both engaged? Are they both married? Okay, Are well, I, I'm not current on the show. Okay. And Darcy's having drama with no. her man because she'll be like, do you love me? And he won't answer. <laughs> He's oh, cool. so mean. Cool. And she'll be like, well, do, you just, do you just like think about me and love me? And he's like... <laughs> No, he's not having it. And it, it's so good. And I, I have to say one thing I do like looking for is when their extensions are showing. Stop. 
Oh no. I know. I love them, but the cameramen <laughs> do them so wrong because they could just like not film it and they do. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you guys, let me help you. But yeah, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. It's so good. But 9 Day Fiance, the reunion's coming up now. Oh, it's going to be so good in the next couple of weeks. I can't wait. Do you even watch it, Miranda? I, f- I fell off, man. You fell off? Yeah. I'm still on. I'm still on the train going strong. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love all the spinoffs. I love pillow talk. I love all the people. I would just want to have like a big 90 day fiance party at my house and invite all the cast. And yes, please. I yes, please. <laughs> you catch up. I do my homework. <laughs> yes. Yes. All right. All right. Well, I am so excited. We have two really fun guests today. And they actually live with me. So it's really (laughs) strange when they're like, hey, we want to be on your podcast. I'm like, okay, awesome. And then I'm like, well, what am I going to ask you? I already know everything. So I had to like really dig deep and like figure out what people would really want to know about these two. But JoJo and Kylie just celebrated their seven month anniversary. I know, they've been dating a long time. And when we were building this new set, you know, I was talking about the podcast and everything and... Jojo was like, we should be your first guest. And I was like, well, okay. I'm like, I didn't even have to ask or like go through her publicist or anything. <laughs> she just volunteered. So I'm I'm pretty excited. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm pretty excited. I got some fun games planned for them. And I think it's going to be great. Can't wait. Can't wait. All right. Let's bring them in. Success with Jess. You guys, welcome. We're so excited. I'm so excited to have you. You're like my first official couch guest. That's right. I'll take a first official couch guest. I'll take it. Yeah, first of it. And I like your hoodies. Thank you. you. We had to wrap the Success with Jess merch. Yeah. Kylie, I didn't know you had one. Oh, I didn't. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But now I do. (laughs) I, I stole one from the garage. All right, well, I have to give you, I have some special snacks for you. Oh, heck yeah. I'm very excited. <laughs> You're very excited? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? Are there right? good ones, too? They're crunchy marshmallows. I hope so. Oh, I think they are because they don't feel like Can the other ones. These? Yeah. I bought them just for you guys. I was like, how fun would that be Heck to yeah. have some crunchy marshmallows? But if, if you can see, I have lots of snacks okay. on my set now. So if you want to have any snacks, you can. Oh, we're not going to do any talking. Just eating. You're like, just eating? Oh, yeah. You're just eating? Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. You feel how I'm with my girlfriend? Yeah. <laughs> well, I hate that That's not funny. So that's how she annoys you, Kylie. She oh. annoys me in <laughs> so okay. many ways. All right. <laughs> So, so many ways. So, starting this off, you guys, seven months. Yeah. yeah. Can you even believe it's We're been almost seven to months? Eight too. Almost We're like to eight. halfway through the month. Halfway to eight, yeah. Like, what the heck? Isn't that crazy? On your yeah. birthday, too, it'll be our last month anniversary. It'll be our 11 no, month. it'll be a year. Oh, my God. And we'll never have months again. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. The universe works in weird ways. Oh seven gosh. months. It feels like it's been two, but then it feels like it's, it's been, been like six years. years. Yeah. Yeah, it feels like it's only been like a couple weeks for me. Really? Yeah. 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 Really? I was mm-hmm. talking to her yesterday. I've actually been saying this a few times this week. I'm like, I miss like the first week we dated. Like, that's so cute. Really? Yeah. yeah I'm like, it's like all the nerves. And like first time like doing everything. Doing everything yeah. Or like, yeah, it's just the best. So you had a lot of nerves? Oh, yeah. I think she had more than I did. Okay. I had way more than you did Which for sure. we talked about last night too, her being way more nervous than I was. What were you because nervous about? Yeah, I've nervous. just never been around the block, even really uh-huh. like with relationships. But then to be in love with my best friend and then having to deal with that and then after telling her not knowing how to deal with it, so then dealing with it wrong and then dealing with it worse, like yeah. everything in my brain. And you would mess with me too. You caused the nerves oh, yeah. too. Oh. oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> that one time when she was like, sorry if my hand was holding yours, it just, my hands are hand magnets. <laughs> also, I had to. why did I believe that? Because you liked me. That is true. So Kylie, are you like a player? I was. <laughs> and I'm going to admit to it. She knew because, well, what I feel bad about was she was my best friend for like a year. Uh-huh. And she was my best friend for the year that I was like full player mode. Okay. Which okay. is like, I hate admitting it, but it's true. I'm not going to deny it. I was. And she knows I was. So I think she I was. was. And it's terrifying. My hand move was like a player move. Um, No. My hand, <laughs> my, my hand move was an, 
I don't know if she's going to think that's weird, so I'm just going to play it off. Yeah, yeah. Because I was like, I knew that she liked me, but it also wasn't confirmed by her. So it was just mm-hmm. like thoughts in my head. So I didn't want to like hold her hand all night and then her be like, what the heck? Like, we're just friends. So, yeah, I, so I just yeah. played it off before anything negative could yeah. Oh, right. Got my hopes up that uh-huh. she liked me uh-huh. back and then squashed them <laughs> in the morning. Well, full squash. Oh my God, that's incredible. I knew by the way that you took it that you liked me because you were like, no, it's fine. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I get it. No, so I was like, oh, I hurt her. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. I think you guys are relationship goals. I see you every Thank day. You. I see how much you get along. I see what you do and do for each other. But we I do, think, don't we? Get I along. think that we, we should along. take it well. way back. Okay. And I, I want you, I'm just going to kick back and relax. Heck yeah. I want to hear the full story on from how, like, how you from met like when? How to like met? how you became a couple to all the things. Okay. So like back okay. to the cruise ship. Take it back. Christmas. And you want the full version. Not like the hour long version, but not like the three minute version. <laughs> yeah, you want yeah, like the, the 10 version. minute. Yeah. It's okay. a podcast, man. We can go for two hours. Let's go for two hours. <laughs> no. Okay. We can go for two hours. I'm down. Yeah. I think I should start because it gives like the backstory of how miserable. Yeah. 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 Okay. So to start off, we go on a family cruise for Christmas every year. It was an annual thing. So it's December 2019. I... You know, just came off of tour. We're going on our Christmas cruise. COVID hasn't really happened yet. Your mom plans these amazing cruises. My mom plans these amazing cruises. (laughs) However, for me, a cruise ship is a really hard place to go because there's just no privacy. None. Go to dinner, everybody's there. You go want to go to the arcade, everybody's there. So anyways, we get on this cruise ship and... I'm miserable. You knew this. I, it was literally two days in. We were at Puerto Vallarta. My mom was like, what can I do to make f- it fun for you today? And I was like, there's an airport right there. I want to go home. I just wanted to go home. And you're like, absolutely not. We're not doing that. And I was like, okay, fine, whatever. Then, she, you remember the story a little differently. Yes. Which part of the story? I'm just going to keep going with mine because then she interjects okay. and pulls me down and it, it gets more fun. Okay. <laughs> so then, all of a sudden, Jaden, actually, my brother, was hanging out with these girls and, you know, didn't really think anything of it. I was just like, oh, my brother's hanging out with girls. Cute. So I actually have, like, pictures on my phone of my brother hanging out with Kylie, like, secretly, like, behind their backs, like, having, like, spy photo shoots. Anyways, go to the room, whatever. Next night, he's with these girls. They're all playing Uno. And I walk by, and they're like, come play with us. And I'm like, no, no, no. And they're like, come on, just one game. And I was like, no, I'm really okay, guys. And this one girl looks at me, and she goes, I always refer to her as this one girl until I know her, but Mm -hmm. it's her. Mm -hmm. This one girl looks at me and goes, why are you too scared you're going to (laughs) lose? And... The way you paint me out is such a monster. <laughs> so mean. It's so mean. When I wasn't I trying to be that. mean, I was just like, sarcastic, like, why not? Come on. It's your humor. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. my it's my like dark mm-hmm. humor, but I, I in no way was I like intentionally like really trying to hurt your feelings. I'm just gonna put that out there because you make me sound really mean. And no, it was like a sarcastic homie, right? Yeah. You think you're gonna lose? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. And so I was like, oh bet. So I sat down, <laughs> played one game against like ten people, including you, and what did I do? You beat all of us. I won. It's <laughs> like, all right, guys, I'm going to bed. Good night. Next night, same thing, same day schedule, miserable during the day. They're playing Uno at night. They're all hanging out, having fun. Mind you, my brother's having the time of his life. He's best friends Super with everybody fun. on the ship. So Absolutely. It's the next night, and they're playing again, and they're like, come on, come play with us again. Like, it was fun last night. It's like, no, guys, I'm really going to go to bed. One girl looks at me and was like, come on. It's like, all right, fine. So I sit down, I play one game, you lost. and I lost. And I was like, all right, y'all, I'm I calling won. it a night. She won. And I was like, I'm calling it a night. And this one girl looks at me and goes, what, you can't stay up late? <laughs> <laughs> then she says, are you competitive? And I said, yeah. <laughs> and she said, want to have a competition to see who can stay up the latest. Wrong. Oh, because wrong. before you knew me, you... Went and you intervened our lunch that we were having, Jaden and I, we were eating lunch with one of the other girls that we met and you called him and so he was like, my little sister, like she doesn't have any friends. Can she please <laughs> sit with us? <laughs> wow. 
you. My little sister. Oh my god. My little sister has no friends. My little sister has no friends. Can she please sit with us? But also. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I do not recall it going like that. Absolutely. But also, that's true. That's true. We today were trying to figure out my bridal party just for fun. Not planning on getting married anytime soon. One day planning on getting married, of course. For fun. We were trying to name five bridesmaids for me. <laughs> Guess how many we got to? <laughs> Two. One. If that. <laughs> and they're all men. <laughs> yeah. Right, keep going. Um, so I was like, yeah, surely she can sit with us. Little sister in my head, I was like, okay, he's got like a four-year-old little sister. <laughs> Wait. Pause here. A few days back, or the day before. Oh, okay. She saw a girl on the stairs. Who it was the shot. first date. Let me... I got this one. <laughs> it was the first day on the ship. Let me like set the scene. You know how like on the first day of a cruise ship, you have the drill that you got to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. So I was walking with my friends to our floor and we went way too far. So we had to walk back up a level. And when I was walking back up, she was walking down. And when I was walking the stairs, I was looking at the floor. So I saw her shoes. And so I turned around and I only saw the back of her. But I was like, oh, she's hot. <laughs> didn't know who she was. I didn't know who it was. I was just like, oh, wow. I hope I she see her again. didn't put together that it was Jojo Siwa. Yeah. Like that it was I didn't see the high top shoes I didn't see her face. I didn't see her face. I was like, oh, her shoes are cool. Okay. And so I told my friends, I was like, I don't know who that is, but watch this. Like, we're going to be friends by the end of the ship, and I'm going to make her mind. Like, there's, it's just going to happen. And so then, a couple days later, she was the girl that went to sit with us at lunch, and she I saw her She recognized my shoes. And I was like, Oh, cool. <laughs> I cannot believe he said his little sister has no friends. <laughs> so then, going back to where we were in the story, we ended up staying awake for how many days together? Like three and a half. Three and a half days. I remember those days. No yeah. sleep. Mm -hmm. No sleep. Mm -hmm. Now, during this time, I don't remember which day this exactly was, but at one point in time, we were at an arcade together. And what's f funny is, I thought she didn't know who I was mm -hmm. because... She never talked about dance moms like everybody else did on the ship. She never made fun of me the way everybody else did on the ship, like joking about my hairline, like like a common internet joke. Like it was all just like, oh, you can't stay up late type of jokes. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, she doesn't, I don't think she knows who I am. Anyways, we're playing this claw machine in the arcade and we are like, quite frankly, wrestling on this claw <laughs> machine. She would want this one to write, I would shake it, right? Like just being- She was being- so mean. <laughs> like it's called six or seven love. times. Six or seven times I would have the toy that I wanted and mm -hmm. she would shake the machine when it was grabbing it. And Don't then it would Yeah, it was like That's so mean. Rude. It worked out for me. Yeah. <laughs> so then all of a sudden we're wrestling and she stops. She pulls off and she looks at me, she goes, Aren't you supposed to be nice? <laughs> and for a second I was like and then I go, oh, so you do know who I am. <laughs> and she goes, of course I know who you are. It just isn't what, like, intrigued me about you. And I was like, all right, fair. But I'm not nice to my friends. Mm -hmm. She hits me back with the, oh, you think we're friends? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, I love this girl, right? <laughs> so then we stayed awake all, like, all day, all night together. And literally the first night, just being with her for five minutes, like, it was like instant we shared we went to the library where we were staying the first night just to, like talk and we shared one chair there are how many chairs in the <laughs> library <laughs> so many we shared one chair we just became like instant like this like i had like a big secret close. at the time that i wasn't supposed to tell anybody and i told her within 10 minutes uh -huh. of meeting her like it was like instantly instant. overprotective of each other like wild and like i would notice when like we'd walk around the ship together and i would take pictures with other people like she would watch me like she wouldn't be like oh Lulu, like what's over there and like run off like other people would she like you were protective of me mm -hmm. and it was so then we leave the cruise ship mm -hmm. and we're sobbing at this point i mean we've known each other for four days mm -hmm. but we're sobbing and we made a promise to talk to each other every day every single day and we did for a while we did for a few months mm -hmm. and then we stopped for a little bit yeah. But then we, but like still every four days, but then like after about three months of that, like we went back to every, every single, single day, day talking like each other's number one best friends on Snapchat, FaceTime, everything. And like, she really was my best friend. And can I tell him what I, as, what I told you on the, yeah. Yeah. Um, when we were on the cruise ship, you should be, when we were on the cruise ship, actually, I asked 
Kylie or somehow it came up that she had a boyfriend. Oh. And you okay with me talking about this? Yeah. Okay, quite literally, <laughs> I laughed. And I go, right <laughs> at me. Right at her. She goes, I have a boyfriend. I go, <clears throat> you, no, you don't. And she looks at me and she goes, yeah, look, it's my lock screen. I do. His name is X. And I was like, dude, you're gay. <laughs> and she was like, what? I was like, I thought you were gay. And she was like, no, I'm so straight. I have a boyfriend. And I literally go, okay, come talk to me in six months. Did <laughs> okay. I not say that? Don't act like you're the innocent one on the ship. I'm not. You're not. But did I not say that? No, you absolutely I did. Didn't. And so then in literally six months, that June, she called me and was like, hey, Sharky, I have something to tell you. And I was like, what? Stole all my thunder. She was like, I'm bisexual. I was like, no, bro, you're gay. Call <laughs> me when you're trying to try again in six months. One more time. <laughs> <laughs> and then six months later she's my girlfriend <laughs> so then we my mom wanted uh, i'm talking about you like you're it's not okay, here right. but you wanted to go on a trip to orlando for uh -huh. christmas and i don't know if you know this or not but in my head i actually said yes because i thought i knew you'd let me bring a friend because right. abby was coming uh -huh. and i was like i'll get to bring a friend and i bet Ky kylie could come uh -huh. And so that's why I said yes. It was all pre-planned. You know I'm 10 steps ahead of uh -huh. everybody and everything. And I, you know I booked the trip right away, so you couldn't change your mind. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so then I, I called her, and you were like, yeah, just tell her we're going for three days, so that way you know you have an yeah. out. Yeah. And I was like, Which all right, cool. Which is funny, because my parents said the same thing to me. Like, just say you can only be up there for three days, just in case. Just in case. You just don't in like case. It. <laughs> so then I, I call like, her after a year of not seeing each other, only on text with and talking, Snapchat. like, every day. Every day. Mm -hmm. Talking every single day. I call her, and I go... Dude, I'm coming to Orlando for 10 days. Can you come? <laughs> and she said. And I was like, uh, yeah, when? <laughs> All 10. So All 10. we get to Orlando. I'm getting super pumped up. She had been with a few other people. And I had known, like, I started to know in, like, October. I got super jealous. And I hate that word. You were, she was super was, jealous. But I was like very obviously. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we read our old text. We were Ooh. so flirting with each other. Who's the biggest flirt? Me. You. You? Yeah. Mm. With like numero, numero uno, uh -huh. she would literally text me and be like, he's on my stage. He needs to get off. Like, but like being sarcastic, <laughs> best friend. Bring it up. Bring up the receipts. But like, no, that's a literal <laughs> text I, that we have. an actual text message. And like, but at the time it was just sarcastic with his friends, but like I would say stuff like that too to her mm -hmm. and like, obviously we meant it so then we're in orlando getting pumped up to see her right knew i was feeling these feelings kind of already but just thought like mm, best friend right mm -hmm. she gets to her car like her car is coming up to the hotel so i go down to meet her <sighs> and i run to her car i sprint i get in her car and this is what we do Let's go find a parking spot. <laughs> yeah, good idea. That's it. You just like look at each other. We yeah. just stopped. And then she broke it up by being like, let's go get a parking spot. <laughs> so we went and got a parking spot. And then we got up into the room. And the first thing she said was, I have so much homework. I better get started on it. Keep in mind, I'm walking up to the room behind her. And my face is bright red. <laughs> because when she sat in that car, my whole body was just like, oh, dude, you like her. What are you going to do? <laughs> what are you going to do? You got 10 days, bro. What are you going to do? Um, so I, internally I was freaking out because mm -hmm. I was like, first of all, she's my best friend. Second of all, she said on the ship that she wasn't straight, but is that, I don't know. And third of all, what if she doesn't like me back? <laughs> Cause <laughs> so I, I was, never like admitted to not, I, like, I never was like, Oh, I'm straight. Mm -hmm. But I never mm -hmm. was like, Oh, I'm gay. I always mm -hmm. just said like, if I end up falling in love with a girl, then great. I'll, I, you know what I mean? Like I just right. never. Right. Well, it has to be hard to be a girl looking for a girl because you don't know if the other girl's looking for a girl or do you i have excellent gaydar you have it's, excellent gaydar it's okay. all about gaydar you can just tell like I, can, I could tell with her instantly you were harder <laughs> i'm a walking rainbow like no i knew it was <laughs> yes. it was it was super easy for me because i'm just like look at me you really think i'm gonna date a boy like <laughs> yeah, I, no, did. I knew you did and i did you did but you like, tried it yeah like my breed is very like it's kind of obvious with you it was difficult because you do wear makeup and you take time to do your hair and like physically it's hard because you dress like a girl like i don't yeah. know like that i don't I really either way exactly but it's easy to tell like just she doesn't wear makeup yeah. easy yeah. Yeah. it's yeah. easy as one two three okay yeah. okay and with you i knew because of the way that you would look at me anyways okay. we're in orlando we're both feeling these feelings but neither of us are telling each other i'm gonna no. speed it up from here you're fine so basically it's what third day in the trip 
Uh-huh. And she straight up asks me. She goes, do you have a crush on anybody? And I was like, now or never? Yes, I do. Mm-hmm. And she was like, on who? And I said, I can't tell you. She was mad. She was like, why can't you tell me? Not mad, but she was like, come on, just tell yeah. me. Like, why are you being a weirdo? Just tell me. And then she would say things like, oh, what? Is it me? And I'd be like, yeah, that's it. Like, to be sarcastic. <laughs> no, well, the dead giveaway was that I asked you if it was a boy or a girl, and you said a girl. It was, oh. she was So oh. she was actually the first person that I ever said I okay. like a girl, too. Okay. Or I have a crush on a girl, or I think a girl is beautiful, hot, pretty, like anything. She was the first one that I ever said that about, or said that to and about. Then we play 21 questions. She guesses everybody under the sun. There, there's nothing, right? No hope. She, I'm not telling her. She's trying to get it out of me. She knows. I knew. You knew? She knew. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. it was like, first of all, we're best friends. You tell me everything. Yeah. Know? Like, if yeah. you're not telling me, then it's me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was just like common sense. But then she'd be like, the whole time she'd be like, all right, just tell me. That way I can help you score them. And I'd be like, mm, no, can't. Like, <laughs> whole time. So then I would start like giving her little like tips on like how to score her crust. I'd be like, here, do this one thing. Hey, can you hold this? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I would do that to her around the park and be like, now use that on your crush and I bet you it'll work. But then like like, throughout the park, we would play Jaden and Abby. Yes, yes. We would act Mm -hmm. like that. We'd be like, oh, I'm scared. There's a lot of people. Like, give me your hand. Ah, we gotta walk through the park like this. All the time we would do that. Yeah, and we were like trying to figure it out. So really, oh yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then you texted me actually while we were on on Haunted Mansion Mm -hmm. on Christmas Day, and you were the Grinch and I was Max. Mm -hmm. And my mom texts me and she says, "What's up with you and the Grinch?" And I reply, "Oh, nothing." (laughs) Praying hands emoji. (laughs) And she said, "What does that mean?" And I go, "Nothing." I think I was like sarcasm, like Uh just playing it off. Yeah, it's a no praying hands emoji. Oh, I didn't know that. She said nothing, and then praying hands emoji. So at first I was like, nothing. Okay, like, like, mom, stop. be something? But then the praying hands emoji was like, oh, she wanted it to be something. Oh, I didn't know that. But I didn't know, like, obviously I knew you and dad, like, are the furthest thing from homophobic or are Mm. the furthest thing from, like, would care. But it's funny how still scary it Mm -hmm. is. Like, it's still scary just to admit even just to admit to family to admit to friends like it was easier actually for me to admit to the world than it was to the closest people to me same really Mm -hmm. and that's like that's wild to think about but it's like I think because I just the world is the world to me yeah and no matter what 50% of people are gonna like you and 50% of people are gonna hate you but like I need the 10 people around me to like me I love you yeah 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 Yeah. keep going then we're gonna we'll get back into that Okay, okay 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 so anyways Finally, it's our second to last day in Orlando. And I'm like, you know what? A lot more goes on. But I was like, you know what? Tonight's the night. Like, mm-hmm. she has to know. So we're on Rock and Roll Roller Coaster. And I was like, it, listen, if you want to know, I'm going to tell you. I decided that tonight I'm going to tell you. She's like, no. I kind of like guessing. And I was like, oh. It's such I, a player, Kylie. I had to. Because <laughs> what I was going to do is when they would like, cart took off i was just gonna scream it's you <laughs> okay part of it was i liked messing with her but then the uh-huh. other part of it was like if it was real like it scared me mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so i was like i didn't want it to be real yet like I, I knew it was real but i didn't want to accept that it was real yet so i was like i could just mess with her for a little longer until like in my brain i'm like okay with the fact that like it could be a thing and so that's why i was like playing for so long but i love you i'm sorry i did that i love you more it's it was it was fun Aww. while it lasted. It really was. You guys are so romantic. Oh, we're so <laughs> like just like the little lovey type we are. Mm-hmm. So finally, it's the second to last night, and it's like nighttime now. We're in our room. Jane and Abby had love, so it's just us it's in the just room. Just us. And Where were Jane and Abby? They, they went to Mexico. Oh, they, they went to Mexico. Mexico. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So she keeps guessing, and our I literally was like, "All right, should we just reenact it?" Okay. So reenacting the story. Do you want us to reenact it or to tell it? I don't care. We've always told it. I think that we right, would be fine. It. Okay, hopefully we both remember this. Do you have your script? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> we're setting the scene. Okay. Dance Moms yep. is on. Moms. Oh, oh. We had both always. just showered. Like, it's like nighttime. Obvious. Like, we're about to fall okay. asleep. We we're are sharing onesies. a bed. <laughs> like, okay. we are. We were like best friends cuddling, right? Okay, okay. If you want to know, I decided tonight I'm just going to tell you. I'll tell you. Do you want to know? I said... No, I don't want to know. I want to guess. Okay. I just should tell you. And then I was like, all right, so tell me. And then you hesitated. So I was like, why won't you tell me? Well, if I tell you that, 
then you would know. So I can't tell you that either. Just tell me. Why are you scared? I can't. And I can't tell you what I'm scared of. Just tell me what you're scared of. I can't. Why not? Because. Just do it. I can't. One, two, three, go. I can't. <laughs> no. That's what you said. Are you scared of being rejected? <laughs> 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 Cut the camp. So Why am I so intrigued? Are you scared of being rejected? Are you? <laughs> um, excuse me. Okay, go. We're gonna go from are you scared of being rejected and action. Are you scared of being rejected? Actually, yeah, that's exactly it. You should. You should what? <laughs> you should never be scared of being rejected. Why? <laughs> because you're like. What? I'm like what? <laughs> Because I'm getting fidgety because I'm getting nervous. I'm in the exactly moment right now. I'm watching it happen. She's like, what else can I touch? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, oh, listen, I'm about to we're die. We're going to win an Oscar for this performance. Like, I feel like I'm about to tell you that I like you again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have butterflies. Me too. <laughs> Great. Action. Um, <laughs> because, because if anyone were to describe the perfect person, it would be you. And... Honestly, I'm really jealous of whoever it is that you like. It's you, you idiot! <laughs> <laughs> and so you then you had time. to go home the next day? No. no. So then we had the whole day we went to Planet Hollywood. We went on the hot air balloon. Oh, that day. So that oh, day we knew. Did you guys suspect anything? No. Really? No, because different. the whole time at Planet Hollywood, we were touching... Under like the under the table, like we were like this. <gasps> yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Is that when we were sitting downstairs, too, that yeah. day? Yeah. 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 In the yeah. black, and we wore like the black spirit jerseys yeah. together. Yeah, yeah. So that we knew, mm -hmm. but we didn't do anything. We never kissed. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Okay. Okay. And then it's the next night, and I kind of made like a small move, mm -hmm. and I kind of just started to kiss her a little bit, and then she actually kissed me. Yeah. And then. So you guys have kissed. Oh, I swear you. Yeah, she swears me all the time. And we would never kiss. <laughs> oh about. my gosh. Um. So then we kissed that night, and then saying goodbye was mm -hmm. miserable because we were like, "All right, we'll see each other on spring break." It was yeah, obviously it was too early to like clarify girlfriend. Yeah, mm -hmm. we didn't clarify anything. But we clarified like just us. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we did that right away. But then it was the next day, the next morning, and we were like, "All right, like let's just keep this in this room, like." Cause we don't really know what this is. So, and we were like nothing else. Like, cause she was like, public is your decision. Like whatever mm -hmm. we do in uh -huh. public, mm -hmm. that's on you because you're the public figure here. Like I respect what you do. That's on you. Like whatever you want. And so I walked her to her car. You actually were like, my dad was going to walk with us. And my mom was like, yeah. tell him, just let them go. Cause she had a feeling. Mm -hmm. And so I walked you to your car you and we that. said goodbye. He was right there ready to go with you and hang out. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, tuna, not now, please. <laughs> and we were by her car and I was giving her a bunch of hugs goodbye. And then I just kissed her outside and we both were kind of like, what was that? And I, I literally told you, I was like, I don't know what that was, but it just felt, it right. Just felt right. Like I just had to. And she was like, Hey, I love it. So then she said, like, I love you, goodbye. And I was like, I love you too, goodbye. Please drive safe. Like, text me to so get home. So she said, I love you first. Yeah, but the thing is, is that we had been saying I love you because we're best friends. So okay. it wasn't like okay. a so clarified. So it was like, what type of I love you is it? Yeah. That's yeah. how it was like. Yeah, okay. Yep. Okay, you know? cool. So then we go home. Next day we're on FaceTime. And I'm like, you're not my girlfriend yet, right? And she's like, well, yes, but I have to ask you. Yeah. So I'm we just need official. to wait. Yeah. I was like. Yes, but no, but also your mind, like, don't do it. Yeah, like, just, nobody yeah. else is. Hold on. Yeah. But we weren't going to see each other until spring yeah, break mm -hmm. for 70 days. And so I was like, okay, can I just tell, like, my close people, though, that you're my girlfriend? Because it's just much easier to explain. And we were like, yeah, close people, whatever. I didn't tell anyone. And so then I ended up flying, you ended up flying out the next weekend yeah. to California just to come be with me. And that's when she asked me to be my with, that's when she asked me to be her girlfriend yeah. on January 8th, 2021. Oh. Put it in your calendars. Oh, okay. Best day ever. And then we decided that I had to ask her to be her, mm -hmm. my girlfriend too. So then I asked her the following weekend. She came back to California. Yep. Uh, but in that week when we didn't see each other and she, before she came out that weekend, we like had a FaceTime call and she was like, I want to say something so bad. And I was like, I know what you want to say. Just say it because I want to say it too. And then you, she poured out her guts and confessed all her love for me. 
Yeah. Aww. Wow. <laughs> yeah. No, I did 100% because I was like, I just feel like I need to clarify. Like when I said I love you in Orlando, like I really meant that I love you. Like not that best friend. Like we graduated yeah. from that yeah. best friend yeah. level. Now so I like, I just wanted to clarify. So I did say I love you first. Okay. Now I did. Say, okay. She did okay. say it first. I did. Now we only say I love you more though. Yeah. And like, if we say I love you too, oh. like that means we're breaking up. I get in so much trouble. Yeah, like really? if she says I love you too to me, it means nothing. Nothing. It has to be an I love you more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The first person just says I love you more? The no. first person says I love, I love you. you. Uh-huh. But then if I was to respond with I love you, it hits. If I was to respond with I love you too, it hits worse. But if I respond with I love you more. Why does it hit? I don't get it. I don't know. I think it's because we <laughs> never said I love you too. Like okay. it was always I love you more. So like I love you too is like is something off. It's okay. like it's like a downgrade from I love you more. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it like just makes it feel like it's And we used off. to the hardest bridge to break was we always used to call each other oh. bro, dude, yeah. Yeah. Kylie, Jojo, Sharky, loser, weirdo, like yeah. so the hardest yeah. bridge to break for me was not calling her by her first name. So what do you call each other now? Everything. <laughs> Everything else. <laughs> we call each other I call you lovey love bug. Lovey buggy, my lovey buggy. Um, <laughs> what else do I call you? I random I names the all the time. Like, uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, I my sweet little lovey bug. Uh-huh. Like, just uh-huh. like whatever comes to your mind, make Babe, it sound cute, baby. Yeah. So what does Kylie call you? I call her my love. I I use the like word my a lot. I'll okay. Say my pretty girl, my cute girl, my love. Pretty girl's my favorite. <laughs> it gets yeah. me butterflies every time. And. <laughs> So we my have like, girl too. yeah, we have like <laughs> unique pet names, but uh-huh. then we also like share all the basic ones, which at first when we, I'm going to rewind really fast because it's really funny. Before we confessed our feelings for each other in Orlando, when we were walking around one of the parks, oh, I fun. just asked her, I was like, so what? Pet names do you like being called? Uh-huh. Like just starting, <laughs> yeah, just starting just a conversation. Uh-huh. And she's just literally curiosity. Everything, yeah. every hint that I, because as much as I was messing with her, I was dropping such obvious hints. Right but on. to me, it was so unobvious. So I was like, what are your pet names? And she's like, I hate baby. I hate <laughs> babe. And now that's like the main things that we call each other. So I'm like, baby. okay. In my phone, you're, she's my baby babe lovey bug. Aww. <laughs> yep. And she, I'm pretty girl. And she's pretty girl. Pretty, pretty girl. girl. Pretty girl. Pretty girl is my favorite thing she calls me. Yeah. It just gives me tingles every time. I You're love so it. Oh my gosh. I love it so much. It. So she came out here. She asked you to be her girlfriend. Oh, yes. I got to explain really quick how I asked her to be my girlfriend. Yes, you should tell them. How oh. did I ask you to be my girlfriend? You put on a show. <laughs> yes, I did. I had a, a whole musical a number. I had like word choreography that coordinated to music oh. and then it went into a song after the work. It was magical. Amazing. Anyways. I, I may have seen it. Yes. yes. Oh, I performed. I saw a run through. Yes. Um, I did like ten run throughs because I had to get nerves out. <laughs> <laughs> Are you nervous? Yeah. Who me. gets more nervous of the two of you? Like around each other? Yeah, just about things and like just like. Well, about things. I think you do. About things or like anything that's not related to us, you do for sure. Oh, about like regular everyday things. Uh-huh. Oh, me. Hundred yeah. percent. I uh-huh. I get like nervous about everything. I don't get nervous about anything except with you. Yeah. She gets nervous about things with me. But around you, I've never been nervous. Like, even when we first met, I wasn't nervous. It's a balance. It's a balance. Yeah. It's a balance. Like, like making an online, like, calling to order pizza over the The phone. The amount of times that we, when we were in Canada filming the J team, and you were in the keys, and she would call and then hang up and be like, I'm just not going to have dinner tonight. And I'd be like, because oh, I'm, my God. I literally and I would get call for so her. anxious, like, calling. To, I can't. I she literally can't. can't. It's so embarrassing to admit, but I can't. So then I would call so the place. makes you then. really nervous? So nervous. And I don't, I don't know why. Cause so like, does it make you nervous to order in a restaurant, too? When we went to Waffle House for her birthday, uh-huh. I and Miranda was there with uh-huh. me. Uh-huh. You saw me try to order. Uh-huh. I get she stunned. Really can't it's like it. I'm a fish underwater and you take a flash of me. Why don't you I'm have like, JoJo order for you then? Because I don't want to feel <laughs> weak. No, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do all the time. <laughs> Kylie, that is weak. Dang it. <laughs> oh, baby. No, but sometimes people order for their spouse or their yeah, partner. And I really yeah. do appreciate it because I get so like, uh, 
Can I, and I'm like, uh, she'll have the fettuccine Alfredo. Like, yeah. <laughs> well, I do notice that a lot of times uh-huh. you'll just go, I'll have what she's having. Yeah. Because yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. I just, I don't know why. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I'm more nervous with like everyday things, but yeah. she's more nervous with like our things. relationship things. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I I'm way it. more comfortable for sure. So We're Jojo, you told me in a very easy way, I feel like. Yeah. That you guys were girlfriends. And I just was wondering, I think as a mom and maybe as a teenager, if you had any advice for people, you know, maybe for kids or for parents that want to talk about it, but don't really know how to. You know, I think if I could give any advice right now, I do think a lot of moms watch your podcast. Mm -hmm. And I want to say something that you did that made me and actually made you too really comfortable is you were just open to it. And you weren't afraid of it. And the only thing that's going to be weird is if you make it weird. Mm -hmm. And it's unfortunate that it's a really easy thing to make weird. Mm -hmm. And just because you don't know. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't know. You've never had a gay kid before. How Mm -hmm. would you know? Mm -hmm. You've never been a gay kid before. You've never Mm -hmm. had a gay brother or a gay Mm -hmm. sister. You just don't know. And so I think with you, like, when I got back into the car after saying goodbye to her, you straight up asked me, like, do you like her as a friend or as more than a friend? And I was like, it's more than a friend. And you're like, yeah, I figured. Mm -hmm. And we just moved on with your life. I think a lot of the times when somebody comes out, it changes the way that you look at that person. And luckily, I think we're in such a good day and age now where that's changing, which is Mm -hmm. good. But there are still homophobic people out there. And there are still people, you know, who don't believe in being gay or who believe that it's wrong. And that's their thing. Mm -hmm. You know, I always said, like, this is what makes me the happiest right now. And, I mean, I hope for forever is you make me the happiest. That if somebody's going to be mad at me for it, that's okay. Mm -hmm. You know, I was so happy to the point where it didn't matter. I think a lot of times kids don't know what to do with it. I've had kids come to me and be like, little kids too, 12-year-olds. And I'll I'll just tell them, like, listen, you're little. Just let it play out. Mm Mm-hmm. And I think that was a thing, big thing for me is it just played out. And I remember when you were scared to tell your parents, actually, and cut me off if you want to or if I'm saying something wrong, but when you were, your parents didn't know for a minute. No. And I'm sure you'll talk to her about that for a, a second, but her friend actually told her parents because her friend thought they knew. Mm-hmm. And her I mom was like, oh, you told your parents. Yeah. No, and thank God because I was really scared to tell my parents yeah. only because... I was just scared of how they would react. And yeah. I just don't like, know. Yeah. And I've had friends whose parents have reacted super negatively. And even though I know my parents never would, it was just a fear of mine. Yeah. yeah. And I couldn't bring myself to telling them myself. Mm-hmm. So like just, it happened in a car. My friend was like, because we were talking and I was like, I think I do want to get married one day. And my mom was like, to who? And my friend goes, Jojo, right? And I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah. And my mom goes, really? I go, yeah. The funniest thing was her mom, when I came out, came in her room and was like, did you see that shock? He's gay. And I was like, no way. Good for her. As we're dating. As we're literally dating. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Because they didn't, they didn't, they didn't know, know. For, yeah. uh, for yeah. a really long time. Yeah. We told him right before our one month. Because I made sure that yeah. her family knew before I and even considered yeah. telling Going back to you saying like it was easier to tell the world. I was so on board with that. I was like, yeah, just tell the world. And that's how my parents will find out. Yay. Like I don't have to tell them. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, but thank you for it. Make me do that. I appreciate yeah. that. It all worked out. Yeah. It did nervous. work out. It's just scary. You it's just scary. don't know. Yeah. I think if I could give anyone advice, it would be to the kids, just go with it. Mm-hmm. And if somebody exits your life because of your happiness, then they're not meant to be in your life. Mm-hmm. And that's really hard if it's a parent or somebody that you love, but you have to, it's your life. Mm-hmm. And for a parent, make it comfortable for a kid. For a parent... Almost bug your kid about it. Mm-hmm. Ask about it. Mm-hmm. Be into it. And never assume anything. You know, that's one thing that I learned with you. Like, whenever your mom would be like, you, you got any new boyfriend? Like, you'd be like, shut up. Like, yeah. <laughs> because, like, then that's yeah. going in my head. Like, oh, I should have a boyfriend. Yes, yes, yes. But it's like, it's, it's, you don't have to have a boyfriend. You know, mm-hmm. you can have yeah. a girlfriend. You can have a they, them friend. You can have a anything you want friend. Mm-hmm. I just wanted you to be you. And to be 
comfortable with the mm-hmm. idea of it. I think that's mm-hmm. what, when you straight up asked me, because I remember even too being like, I don't know how I'm going to tell my parents, but yeah. I, and she was like, are you going to tell them? And I was like, if it comes up, like, I'm not going to straight up be like, hey guys, so Kai and I kissed last night and she's going to be my girlfriend in a week. But I was like, if they ask me like, so do you like her? I'm like, now it's free and clear. You like, yeah, yeah like you, boom, done. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, and I think, too, like, your parents lead. You know, I think when yep. we were okay with it, that kind of probably made you feel like, I here. love you. Uh, that was good. That's I'm a good, good talk story, all day you guys. Long. All right, Kylie, Ooh. this question's for you. Hot seat. Oh, I'm scared. I, I want to know how your life has changed since you met JoJo. Like, because I know a lot of things have changed for you, but uh-huh. really, how has it changed? Um, First of all, I've been in California for how many months now? <laughs> um, uh, and also, she's leaving I'm, tomorrow night for two days. No. And, and we're it's so sad. Devastated. Um, since I met her like on the ship or since we started dating? I think since you started dating. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, well, we're long distance. Mm-hmm. And I've never been in a long distance relationship yeah, before. So yeah. here I am. I'm like, let me do everything I possibly can to make sure that it works and it goes smooth and we can see each other all the time. I've been in public school my whole life. Mm-hmm. It's my senior year this year mm-hmm. and I'm being homeschooled mm-hmm. <laughs> for this one <laughs> mm-hmm. so that we can see each other as much as possible. And that doesn't mean that I'll be out here all the time. Like, I'll obviously go back home and stuff, but just to make it easy. <laughs> so you have more options. Just yeah. so yeah. so that, so my life has definitely changed that way. Yeah. Um, I've learned who my real friends are and my fake friends are Mm -hmm. really quick. It's crazy how quick. Really quick. Really? Yeah. And it's crazy how some of her friends with me will just be like how she is with me, like not phased by anything. Mm -hmm. But then how some of her other friends will scream when I come on FaceTime. And it's like, there's, it's not a bad thing, thing. but it just, you just learn who like is like your friend, like your family and who's your friend, like your friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I learned that lesson really fast. My teachers, um, <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> Tell them what happened when, like, when your teacher was like, you need more time. Okay. So this is I was in my marine science class and in the beginning of the class, we take a one question quiz just to like, make sure our brains are activated, whatever. My teacher, it was just after we had not, so we were dating. She came over and she was like, I can give you the next class to do it too if you want. I go, <laughs> it's one question. <laughs> she goes, I know, but I just, if you need the extra time, I'll give it to you. <laughs> I was like, trying to be your friend. I was like, the principal uh, called, gave her a counselor. Like, my <laughs> principal pulled me out of my class in the middle of a test and was uh-huh. like, Kylie, I need to speak to you. So here I am. I'm like, oh my God, what did I do? What did I do? Like, I've never been in trouble. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. I walk out of my class it's a timed test so I'm like losing time as I'm talking to my principal she takes me all the way across campus to her office and inside there's these two massive guards and this tiny little man sitting in a chair and she was like I got you security and I got you a counselor if you need to talk to someone I go what (laughs) why (laughs) I'm like she got you security (laughs) yeah I'm like for what I'm like for what who is there is the press like what is going on um, I've, last I checked, I'm, I don't need a counselor. Um, and she was like, just in case I was like, does my, did my mom ask you for this or, or what? And she was like, no, but we heard the news and <laughs> I was like, no, I'm good. Can I go back to class? Like I'm taking a test. Um, so things like that have definitely changed. Um, I'm 10 million times happier than I was prior to this one. Um, for in that like part of my life, I am like, Oh, my whole heart. I'm, I was like the Grinch and my heart grew like not two times bigger, like two million times bigger. Um, and for that, I will be eternally grateful. You are the best thing that's ever happened to me. Um, I would say overall, my life has been great just because of how happy I've constantly been. It's like, there's nothing that could ever down me because I know that I have this one and she's yeah. always by my side and everything is fine and it all works out. the best thing in <laughs> life. It all yeah. works out. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So I, my life has really changed for the better, honestly. It's Good. great. I love it. Good. Good. Thank you. So people might want to know, like you're from the Keys. Well, people will want to know. You're from the Keys. Yes. And I think your school sounds pretty cool. My that school is super you cool. You used to go to. Yeah. Right on the water. <laughs> right on the water. Um, not very big, like 800 people, so everybody knows everybody, which is kind of why I'm happy 
that I'm getting away from the island uh-huh. because that's like way opposite of what I like. I love meeting new people every single day. And so Just being, not waiters and waitresses. No, no. no. <laughs> She's my social <laughs> butterfly, but can't talk to humans. Yeah, talk to humans. <laughs> <laughs> Which is really funny. Um, but yeah, my school's little right on the water. It's open. It's nice. I loved it for a while, but I got bored of it. Which is weird to say because I know I literally live in paradise, mm-hmm. but it's like it's only paradise for so long. Yeah, like, you need to you change know. it up. I'm gonna tell you, know you want to change it up. But other than that, yeah, it's a cool little place. Yeah, and your parents own there. a restaurant. Down My in the parents keys. do own a restaurant. It's a fish house. Go eat there. Fish house. Um, in the in where in the Keys? Key Largo. Fish house in Key Largo. Fish house in okay. Key Largo. Um, they've owned it forever. They've lived there forever. Okay. They want us to live there forever. Just because we talk food on this podcast. If I went to the fish house, what would I eat there? You would probably <laughs> order one of everything. <laughs> yes, I probably would. <laughs> yes, you would. I would want to try it all. You would want to try it all. <laughs> yes. Um, but my favorite is called mahi mahi. Uh huh. It's a fish. Mm-hmm. Super I know that. indigenous <laughs> species. Uh-huh. Um, it's really good. It's my favorite. Okay. If you like fish, you'd probably like it. Okay. Do they have shrimp cocktail? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They have shrimp cocktail. Do they have good sides? Or are you just yeah. Getting fish on a plate? Oh no. Every side you would ever want. Okay. It's like, the best. What, what's the best? And, okay. and I'm, I'm not only saying that because it's my parents' restaurant. Like, I'm not being biased. I really mm-hmm. mean it. Her it's parents, really good. Parents made her try every single thing on the menu. Every single thing. And that's how they found out she was allergic to grouper. Yep. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh because she tried my. everything on the menu to know, like, what to tell yeah. people. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they, they, like, classically trained my brother and I to talk about everywhere. We're, like, newspapers that walk around. It's crazy. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> It's a pretty great That's place. Incredible. I suggest you go there. All right. I want to know, do you ever argue about anything? Yes, but not seriously. Have we ever had, like, a really serious argument? I remember one time we were like, we could classify this as our first fight. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're right. <laughs> but that? I don't think we did. We want to know what that is. <laughs> we have had one fight. What's yep. funny is we don't really remember what it's about. But I don't remember why it was so dramatic. Legos. She built a Lego, and was I didn't want to get it. No, no, this no. was like <laughs> like two, two weeks, weeks ago. ago. Okay, okay, okay. I don't like talking about this story. Okay, do you want to skip over it? No. Okay, but I just funny. need to clarify that I don't like talking about it. Okay, I do. So I was right. she was building a Lego mm-hmm. and asked me if I wanted to build it. I didn't. I just <laughs> did. I was fine with that. This is going to start a heated argument again. It really is. We should have made this up. So then Pinky promised that we're not going to get mad no, at No, we're not going to get into any fights here. Oh, God. Okay, okay here we go. <laughs> so, <laughs> we said Pinky promise it. Okay. Pinky promise. I, I'm in. I'm ready. She wanted to build a Lego and I just didn't want to. Mm-hmm. I worked all day. Didn't Amen. want to come home and build a Lego. Yeah. Would have done anything with her. Would have watched a movie. Would have played on our phones. Yeah. Would have hung out. Yeah. Would have made a dinner, made cupcakes. Just didn't want to build a Lego. I don't like building Legos. I feel like I've talked to you about this. Yeah. yeah. It was that night. It was that night. Okay. It was that night. <laughs> okay. Okay. So then she was fine with it, but she was going to build the Lego. So she sits down <laughs> to build Because I wanted to build it. So I, I was like, <laughs> okay, okay, I'll okay. build it. Like. <laughs> But then, like, I would come over to give her a hug, and she would, like, kind of brush me off. Or I would say, like, I love you, and she'd be like, I love you. Not the more. Like, I just, you were being off. I was not. You were being a player. No, I was focused. <laughs> she claimed she was focused. For all my Lego builders, Lego. <laughs> it takes precision. Because you one mess up, and it's over. So I was, I was just being focused. I was not being a player. I was just focused. She was focused on her Lego. Focused yes. On okay. I took it as she hated me. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. So we got into this big heated argument. Uh-huh. And she was like, I'm literally, but like when she said. Where were you building your Lego at? On in the, her floor. And, okay, in but, okay, but here's the thing. Is I was going to build it downstairs with Jaden and Abby. Yeah. But because I still wanted to spend time with her, even if we weren't doing the same thing, I was like, all right, I'll just build it in our room while you play on your phone and take a shower or whatever. Yeah. So that we could still be in the same area. That's why I was building it in her room. But then I'd be like, love, are you mad like that I didn't want to do that? And she'd be like, love, I've told you, it's fine. <laughs> so in my head, I'm like, ah, it's not fine. Like, I'm a girl, so I understand girl language. Uh-huh. And that means it's not fine. No, uh-huh. I... But she literally genuinely was meaning, I like, literally it's was fine. like, no, it's fine. Like, I totally understand. So then I got out of her portion, and then she got out of her portion, frustrated the other way. Then she took a shower. I'm bawling my eyes out putting laundry away. Like, <laughs> so funny. 
And then she comes out of the shower and she was like, we both have been dramatic. We both don't want to fight. Let's be done with this. And I was like, <laughs> she was like hysterically crying. Like, and I, and I, I was like, this is so stupid. Why are you crying? Like, it's okay. So we've had our first fight over Lego. And it wasn't even really an argument because we were both on the same side. But just having, we were getting our views across differently. Yeah. Because <laughs> JoJo's super sensitive. Yeah, it was, yeah. it was like, because what happened was like, I was on her side the whole time. And I was like, I'm not mad. And she's like, you're mad. So then she like got in her head that I was mad at her. Mm -hmm. And so then looked at me she can't as handle if it. I was mad at her when I was can't handle she can't it. handle it. It's when you are mad at me, I can't right. handle it. Even when I wasn't. <laughs> right. So, right. It's, but if in her head I am, then I am. Uh -huh. Even if I say I'm not. I'm like uber sensitive though, uber, in this relationship. Uber. Like, yeah. Yeah. I have never been so sensitive about anything in my life like I am with this relationship. It's mm -hmm. crazy. And we also don't fight a lot because we blame things on other people. Yeah. I made a TikTok about this and we got called out. Okay, do it yeah. to me. But promise that it'll stop no quick. Okay, for example, this is what we do. <laughs> Love you. Mm-hmm. Somebody tickled me. Oh, somebody tickled somebody me. Somebody tickled me. So we blame things so on other people. Yeah, <laughs> just like that. And we only do this behind closed doors because oh, I like, it's super embarrassing. But like, you it's freaking hilarious. Or if one of us <laughs> yells at each other like this, be like, Mom, okay. stop. You're being annoying. Mommy. Somebody yelling at oh, me. Oh, somebody yelling at me. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. And so it just goes like that. But the thing is, is that we, we never do this in public because... <laughs> If when we know that we're just kidding, we don't make a big deal out of it. But yeah. like, you know how behind closed doors, like you talk like a baby to your significant other. Everybody does it. Don't <laughs> deny it. Everybody <laughs> does it. Everybody. What's you talking about, not weird. Exactly. <laughs> I've got her on a new kick uh -huh. of saying things like, I really, really love you. Or like God, doubling it's anything. It's so bad. And I do it. Give us one. I should be like, I'm gonna go take a shower. We wow. We like, <laughs> like, should we go brushy our teethy weefies? It's so stupid. <laughs> but I really love stupid. it. That's what this relationship what is doing to me. You, you do. want to know how I've changed? This. That. <laughs> <laughs> never she would never. I, I actually I, think me being friends with her yeah. while she was a player makes me feel so much safer yeah. in our relationship. Yeah. Because yeah. I know how she was or how she would talk to them or how she would be with other people. And with me, when she's like, do you want to cuddle? We want to we snuggly buggly? <laughs> it's like, why would I say that? Because I love her. Yeah. That's why I said. Yeah. And I, when, my, when we were on FaceTime and I'd be around my friends and I said that around them because I felt comfortable around my best friend, like, you know, being a little soft to my girlfriend. She was like, what? Did, what did you just say? Because they and just like, don't picture don't her to be it. that. Because yeah, my yeah. friends only know me as how I was. Yeah. Because I've yeah. never really been in a serious relationship where, like, I'm, like, in it to be in it. Like, I yeah. really want it. Yeah. Um. And so my friends were like, who are you? What, <laughs> what just came out of <laughs> your mouth? Soft, Kylie. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. my softy wafty. Oh, yeah, my gosh. <laughs> yep. Don't you mean. Oh, my gosh. You watch me. Go, oh. okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. wait. Yep. Come on. Yep. All of it. So, so. Yuppie, yuppie. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yuppie, yuppie. There you go. <laughs> so cute. I love it. I love it. I'm, the only thing I think parents really want to see is their kids happy. Absolutely. Yep. And it's just really nice to see you guys Absolutely. really happy. So and just happy. Living your so best happy. life. And yeah. yeah I love so it. happy. All right. So. You want to play a game? Yeah. Duh. Duh. All right. I, I got one thing I want to ask you before we play a game, though. So I got one more question. All right. Ooh. Tell me about your necklaces and your bracelets. Well, these are good. So we've gone through a few different kinds. We have uh -huh. some more bracelets in the room. We do. But I actually have my original necklace, too. I put my original one on the chain. So we started off with, it's. there's a little, we hold this really quick. Yeah. Now I'm talking in baby voice, too. <laughs> we have a little lock. This was our very first one. It's a little lock, and it has a K on it. But we've upgraded to a bigger lock. Yeah, yeah, okay. And it has a K on it, and hers has a J on it. Okay. And that's, we're locked together forever. Um. And then this one, it has both of our birthstones. This one is my favorite one. I love this one. And it has a diamond in the middle, but it has her birthstone on top on mine and mine on the bottom. But on hers, it it's has- Hers on top and mine on the bottom. Okay. And okay. that's like, you put your significant other before Above yourself. You. Like that's Aww. like the symbolism. Yeah. And her manager got it for us. Yeah. And yeah. I've I literally never that. taken it off. And then yeah. I also have another K1 too right now that I just bought the other day. I yeah. noticed that. Yeah, I just And put it on. we have bracelets. You actually. 
Always. <laughs> Everything. These actually came for you. Yeah. And we stole yeah. them and from you. Them. And I yeah. saw them. I was like, oh, you like blue? I like pink. These yeah. are ours. Because <laughs> she so likes guys, pink. I like blue. Mm -hmm. And then we have this one. The black one's a pinky promise bracelet. Okay. Okay. And it has each of our initials. Mine has a K. Hers has a J. Mm -hmm. And then the last one says. My person. And it's just like little letters. Who made you those? Um. They were, were in a group of a bunch of like different types of bracelets. Oh, yeah. I think from maybe it was like from a makeup company. Yeah, yeah it was from a makeup yeah, company. Yeah, they're cute. But they're then really we also cute. have ones that have a Spotify, one of our Spotify songs on it. Uh, we yeah. have ones that say to infinity and then the other says ambient. Do you have yeah. like a song? Like a like your song? Like, mm, yeah, we, we have, have a bunch. A few. We have a few. Our favorites are perfect. Yeah. Classic. Yeah. Into you. Venus. Venus. Those are like the main four. I think those yeah. are like our main four. Those, those are, are the ones that, yeah. And Happily by One Direction. Oh, yeah. Okay. And we got a lot of One Direction. Oh. Tomorrow. Guys, no, you're only going to be apart for two days. That's so long. In like relationship days, that's like five years is two days. I know, but what are you going to do when you go apart. to college? Don't talk about that right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's very sensitive. <laughs> But hopefully she'll go to college out here. Yeah, so we'd plan. even, we'd be in the same. Yeah. It's hard because she's going 2,000 miles away. Mm -hmm. Even mm -hmm. if she was just going to Arizona, it's just a little different. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's like being farther away feels farther, even if it only takes a couple hours to get here mm -hmm. from a plane. It's just like mm -hmm. worse. Far. Yeah. So you're going home and you're coming right back. Yeah. So is that okay with you? <laughs> yeah. <it's laughs> totally <fine>. cool. <laughs> so there's nothing to cry about. Yes, there is. <laughs> okay. Do you nice. like it when she's here? Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I love it when you're here. Are you okay if she's here? Yeah. All I'm the great time? when she's here. 24-7? <laughs> she has been. 365? <laughs> she was coming out for a week this summer. <laughs> that was in May. <laughs> Sorry. Do you, Clear, want, clearly, do you want her to go home? Clearly, I'm great with it. She goes, the other day, she goes, <laughs> she goes, do you think, do, do you think, in December, I'll fly from here or from Florida. Will I drive? <laughs> and I go, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Yeah, we'll figure it out. She, she has a constant fear pretty recently that she's overstaying her welcome. I don't think you are. Well, it's just like it makes, I think it's because I've never stayed somewhere this long ever. So I just, yeah. I don't know. It's, it's more like a. I've never had thing. somebody stay at my house this long either for what it's yeah. worth. Yeah. But. I think it works out good because cool. you guys have like your own little area and you do your own little thing yeah. and you don't fight. You're not loud. You know what I mean? Like you don't change the dynamic of our house. So I think that's cool. Like if you guys were like running and screaming and like making messes and like being stupid or like, so, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't know. It's just totally. like, if we were trouble. chill. If we yeah, were trouble. it's chill. If you were staying out late and coming in late, yeah. like, I can't do this. Yeah. You know? Like, yeah. Yeah. I'm so you're okay cool. with her being here? Yeah. I'm great. I'm great with it. I'm there you go. More validation. That. Yeah. <laughs> Reel it in. Okay. All right. We have a game. All right. We do. I actually have two games. Let's Don't play them. Play Let's play them. Okay. Got First them. one is rapid fire. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I know. <gasps> I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm actually excited to hear you answer these. There's not very many. There's only like 10. Favorite candy? Um, Sweet tarts. M&M's. Favorite pizza? That's a lie. You like Junior Mints. And Junior Mints. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Favorite pizza topic? Pineapple. Pineapple, stop. You can't take all of mine. Vegetables, because I want my answer to be different. Okay. <laughs> Favorite movie? Pitch Perfect. Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh, wait, 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 wait. The J Team. Yeah! Oh, 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 I got that was good. Good. I'm just kidding. That's funny, because I knew you were going to say Pitch Perfect. I didn't even, like, bat an eye. All right. I love you. Favorite musician? Ariana Grande. <laughs> and Doja Cat and Jojo Siwa. Thank you. <laughs> Um, Queen, Gaga, Michael, Elton, Prince. I'll go Queen. Okay, okay. Favorite TV show? Dance Moms. Dance Moms. <laughs> <laughs> actually, season? actually, season um five and six because my girlfriend is on it. Yeah, yeah. JoJo, what season? Five and six. Five and six. And eight. I gotta watch eight. I haven't watched eight yet. So good. It's Dream good. car, Kylie. Lamborghini Aventador. Oh, what color? Blue. Okay. JoJo, dream car. Lamborghini and Venador. Oh. Do it to make my girlfriend happy. <laughs> so are you getting matching ones you. or are you sharing ones? Matching ones. I would just get one for her. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to get mine. You can get yours. <laughs> okay. Finally, I said, lock it in. Ow! <laughs> we'll go with that. 
<laughs> I hate all of you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Dream vacation spot. Hawaii. Um, Bora Bora. Ooh. What's that game you play on your phone? Favorite game? <gasps> Mickey's Magic, Mickey's Magic Kingdoms. Kingdoms. <laughs> it's very fun. It's very fun. We love yeah, it. Yeah. Mickey's Magic Kingdoms. All right. Yep. Two more. Favorite holiday? Christmas. Christmas. Uh-huh. Favorite restaurant? Ooh. Restaurant? Mastro's. Mastro's, 100%. Mastro's. Or Yamashiro. Yeah. I like Yamashiro. I like Mastro's better than Yamashiro. I like it when we cook the best. Yeah. Home date cooking. Home date cooking. What's your favorite thing to cook together? Oh, I'm Mastro. not a good cooker. I sit and I annoy her. I saw you make cookies. They were pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> the double ones? Yeah. I actually had to leave the kitchen when y'all were making those. Really? <laughs> yeah, and, and that's actually why I... She has I no don't. patience with it. None. Even with the cloud wall. We're building this cloud wall, and we start with these little chunks. Finally, at the end, she just takes these big hunks and just... <laughs> Stop. All right. it's, that's it's, how you learn about other people. It's, and that's why we're it. so yeah. good together because yeah. she, I don't have to have patience because she has it. Yeah. And I cook well, and you can make cookies however you want to. It was just hilarious. It was so funny. Only because it's quicker instead. <laughs> because you're like, like and she was like trying to separate them by like two inches each. And I was like, just pile them on. Like they're all going to one place anyways. It doesn't matter. It's fine. But <laughs> we I made double we cookies that look like butts. <laughs> yeah. And they were awesome. And they tasted great. Oh, so, okay. Yes, they did. <laughs> all right. Kylie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, this is now. Who is the? Okay. Oh. So you have to like either point to each other or say each other. Perfect. However you want to do it. All right. We got our pointers ready, but no, we'll say it. I'm going to say it. Podcast. Who's the better kisser? Me. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I mean, it is true. You are. No, so you are. Okay. <laughs> Who's the crabbiest in the morning? You. Me. Really? Yeah. Really? In the morning, yeah. I'm more of a daytime crab. You're more of yeah. a night crab. I'm okay. not a night crab. Neither of us are night crabs. No. Okay. Yeah. So Kylie's a morning crab? Yeah. Happy wife, happy life. That's <laughs> me. <laughs> okay. I'm night crab. <laughs> or like evening crab. Who's the loud one? You. Kylie. No. Excuse me? <laughs> We're equal. <laughs> Jaden. <laughs> Jaden. Okay, we'll go I'm with Jaden. loud. <laughs> Wait a second, how did I get thrown into this? <laughs> you are the it's, loudest. It's probably me when it comes it's down to it. Her. It's not me. Who's the messy one? Her. her. <laughs> <laughs> no, we need to talk about this one because whose mess do I clean up every single day? Whose mess do I clean up every single day? Not no. mine. I clean up yours all day today. I didn't leave a mess today. What do you do to the bathroom every morning? How Literally, many? <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> yesterday. How many loads of laundry do I put in of your clothes? How many, How many times yesterday? do I clean up your closet? <laughs> and I'm very appreciative every time. And I mean, too, but <laughs> yesterday, I'm just saying that I'm not I walked in the bathroom and I bought us an organizer for our toothbrush. And where was your toothbrush? You make the bed <laughs> where because was I started <laughs> making the bed. Mommy! <laughs> <laughs> Someone yell at me! I love you. No, we're, we're, we're actually neither of us are messy. We both like to keep it clean, but probably out of the two of us, I'm more messy. <laughs> Thank you. Why but, can't you just say that? But, in the if first, I, but if I have the time, I like to clean it up. Okay, but that wasn't the question. It was who's messier. Okay, me. Happy who's wife, happy life. <laughs> who's the comedian? Me. Both of us. Both of us. No. Okay, me. we can go with you. Thank you. She's funnier, but I get more offended at her funniness. Okay. But I'm funny. You just she's funny, but I'm just yeah. sensitive. Yeah. yeah. Who's bossiest? Her. <laughs> you for sure, love. What? <laughs> no, we're not. You're not. Okay. Apparently it's me, but it's not. It's yep. absolutely her. I get squashed by you all the time. <laughs> I'm so scared of everything because I'm scared you're going to get mad at me. What do I do? You're, I'm not bossy. I'm just, that's just not in my nature. And I am. Sometimes. <laughs> you can be. Who's the romantic one? Me. She is. Who spends more money? I do. <laughs> What's <laughs> JoJo? <laughs> for sure. Who's most likely to get a speeding ticket? Me. You. Kylie, for sure. Kylie, for sure. You don't even have a driver's license. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Also, I've never been pulled over either. Like Neither have I, really? but just of the two of us. If it were to happen ever, like, unfortunately... Probably me, but like barely. Okay. You know? Yeah. It's just a question. Who's yeah. most likely to win an Olympic gold medal? Kylie. At what? Whatever you want. 
dance for you. Anything Not else a sport. Can't, can't <laughs> dance at the Olympics. Dance isn't gymnastics. Gymnastics is a sport, yeah. Dance isn't a sport? Dance is an art. Oh, I knew that. I knew that. Me. I could probably win for baseball. Gymnastics. I don't know if you know this or not, but I was in the major leagues. Either of us. Either of us. We're both pretty athletic. Who's the most patient? Her. Me, for Who's a better cook? George. For sure. Who picks the TV shows? Me, George. for sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who says I'm sorry first? Me. Kylie, for sure. <laughs> Who said I love you first? Me. Kai. Who's the most likely to cry saying goodbye? Both of both us. Both of us. Always. Always. And we both, who's the most likely? It's who's going to cry first because we both end up crying. Yeah. You guys are a mess when you say goodbye. Oh, yeah. a mess. It's hard. Tomorrow it's, night's going to be brutal. It's really hard. Tonight's a brutal night too because it's like our last, our last night. night. How like, are you going to spend your last night together? Movie night. Movie night. What movie? Pitch Perfect. <laughs> Maybe a scary one. Yeah. So is that like your perfect night in to watch a movie and hang out? We like to watch a movie. I want to cook dinner for us. Cook. What do you like to cook? Yeah. I like cooking fun things. Pasta, chicken. Oh, I'll make us the Kraft mac and cheese bowls. What's that? Oh, we I went got to big bowls of Kraft mac and cheese. Oh, fun. Okay. Yeah, we went okay. to Target yesterday. Yeah. What is your perfect night out if you were to go out? Ooh. We like the movie theater. I feel like we're very different. Is it like perfect night out together? Yes. yes. Date. Oh, Date night, love. a restaurant. <laughs> Okay, but also, perfect what? night out. Is there an option without me? <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I can, did I miss something? I can't believe there's an option without me. For perfect night out. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. Um, perfect night out with the two of us. Come here. No. In a non-bossy way, will you please sit next to me? I'm the bossy one. <laughs> We do appreciate next to her on the couch. Thank you. Sam, we're better again. Uh -huh. Yeah. Perfect night out would probably be to a really cool restaurant and somewhere dark. Car ride. We like going on car rides. We used to go to these like drive through like yeah. theme houses. Yeah. And those were really they were fun. fun. Like I the Christmas ones. Like oh, yeah. 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 Like yeah. go to theme parks. Theme yeah. parks. You like Astro going Orbiters. to Disney? Oh. Yeah. What's your favorite ride? Astro Orbiters. <laughs> That's my perfect night. Just spent a whole night on Astro Orbiters. Yesterday, Astro actually, we were going yeah. to go down to Disney to just ride Astro Orbiters yeah. Yeah. once. Yeah. That's what we were going to do yesterday. But still what else do we like to do? We like to go to movies. Yeah. We're adventurous. Mm -hmm. Very adventurous. We don't like to repeat things no. either. Okay. Just like fun, unique places yeah. that are fun and I feel like, like interesting. You guys do really fun stuff. You yeah. always tell me what you're doing. I was like, oh, that's good. That's fun. Yeah. 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 But it's even like we could just make chilling in her room and watching a movie we've seen a hundred times yeah. fun because we're with each other. So it's well, like. Sometimes it's nice just to stay home. It's really hard to take me out places. And so, like, in the beginning of the relationship, like, I obviously knew she was a social butterfly. She obviously knew that I am not. And so she was like, I could sit in a room with white walls with you all day long and not get bored. Like, we yeah. don't have to go anywhere. We don't have to do anything. And, no. like... You do know, Kylie, that it's really hard to get her to go places, but usually when you get her there, she's happy. Yeah. 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 I've realized that. I yeah. like that. It's Sometimes nice. just getting her out you the just door do is it. hard. <laughs> you just gotta be like, come on, come on. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. yeah. No, I get it. All right. Best piece of relationship advice you could give other teens. Other teens? Or people. I guess people. Because you could give adults advice, too. Um, This is going to sound stupid, but don't hold grudges over stupid things. Yes. Because it's dumb, and it's going to waste your time. It's not going to matter in an hour. It shouldn't matter then. So it's like, I just let that. it go. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, like, if you both really want it to work, you'll make it work. So don't hold grudges. That's stupid. No matter what, never go to sleep mad. Never. Never yeah. go to sleep mad. Always end with an I love you. Mm -hmm. Always end with a I'm frustrated, but tomorrow it won't matter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, understand each other's lives. That's yeah. something that took me a second to realize is mm -hmm. that, like... We don't live the same life no. and we have very different things in our lives. And that took that like there was a learning curve for me. Definitely. And just because I'm not normal and but like neither are you. You're not normal, but like I just live a life that is very far from it. Mm -hmm. 
and she lives a life that's very far from mine. And so getting around that learning curve was a learning curve. Mm -hmm. That's good advice. But just understand Mm -hmm. it Mm -hmm. and always listen. And whatever the other one is feeling is valid because they're feeling it. Acknowledge it. And I also have one more piece of advice for the teenagers because I was in high school. I know how teenage relationships are. Stay away from drama because it's stupid and it doesn't matter. And you just stir it up and it's pointless and it's useless and it breaks really nice things apart. So just stay away from it. It's hard to be a teenager. Oh. It's hard. I feel sorry for kids. It's so yeah. hard. No, it's really difficult. All right, JoJo. One last thing. We'll wrap this up. But do you want to tell everybody what's coming out September 3rd? Oh, yeah, yeah. baby. <laughs> <laughs> the J Team. My new movie uh, comes out on Paramount+. Plus. You can stream it on September 3rd. And I'm so pumped up about it. I mean... Filming the movie was, it was, it was so different than any other project that I've done because it was the biggest project that I did in COVID. And so now seeing the final product of it, it just almost blows my mind how well it came together. Uh, I'm insanely proud of the film. I can't wait for the world to see it. And one of the music videos for it, you and I just dropped today. Uh, it, it's just, I'm just so happy. And everybody that I've showed it to has loved it. The amount of times that it'll be at night and she'll be like, can we watch the J-Team? And I'm it's like, so good. It's yeah. So good. It's so, I probably watched it five times. I would watch it right now. It's so good. Yeah. It's just, yeah. it's fun. It's a fun film. And so I'm really excited for the world to get to see it. Me too. So much work. Oh my gosh. So much work. So much dancing. So many hours, but so good. It just turned out so good. So good. So proud of you. So proud of you. Thank you. All right, you guys. Well, welcome back to season two of Success. Absolutely. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Do. I think we all learned today. Believe in love. Find Mm -hmm. your person. Believe in happiness. Most importantly, create your own happiness. Yeah. You know, your life is what you make it. Uh, Make it amazing. Thank you so much for watching or listening to Success with Jess. And. I'll see you guys next week. If you want some Success with Jess merch, visit my website at www.successwithjess.com. And don't forget to get some Bling Bits rhinestones if you want to make your life sparkly like ours. But most important thing, love your life. I love you guys. Thank you. Bye.